The Adidas Yeezy 700 made an endless headline piece when it surfaced. As Kanye West's first foray into the chunky shoe world, the silhouette has grown to become one of the most coveted sneakers, this and much more right after these messages. Click subscribe, as you watch this video. The Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 Waverunner first made its debut to the sneaker world back on August 12, 2017. After several months of leaks and early photos, the silhouette surfaced for pre-order on Kanye's Yeezy Supply Store. However, unlike your usual Adidas Yeezy release, they didn't sell out in seconds. Instead, pairs were available for pre-sale and a full-size run for several hours, allowing time for consumers to make up their mind on the new silhouette. Like many sneakers, not everyone was initially sold on the Chunky Dad design, though, and what followed was one of the most intense debates in sneaker history. When the Yeezy 700 first appeared on social media timelines, a majority of sneaker heads hated the shoe. Posts and images of the latest Kanye silhouette were met with comments outright labeling the look as garbage, while some joked about how they looked like something straight out of a mental ward. On November 18, 2017, Chance the Rapper hosted Saturday Night Live for the first time, also appearing as the show's musical guest. While many viewers tuned in for his special performance, only a select few were privy to the history he was making with his feet. Wearing dark selvage denim, a plain long sleeve, and Gucci belt, Chance was one of the first celebrities to appear in public with the Yeezy Boost 700 on his feet. His timing was impeccable, giving a fantastic view of the new silhouette on feet at the same time that many undecided consumers would be receiving their pre-order pairs. While many were still displeased with the shoes, partially due to Chance's thick ankle cuffs, there was no mistaking it, the Yeezy Boost 700 was going to be a hit. After Chance, the rapper's SNL appearance, the hype for the latest Yeezy silhouette began to build immediately. As more pairs hit the resale market, the cost started to dip slightly, but still remained at hundreds of dollars over the $300 retail price. The Wave Runner was making its way onto the feet of more people, ranging from regular consumers to Instagram influencers, as well as Kanye's friends who were gifted pairs. The silhouette's presence on social media increased tenfold, and soon every sneakerhead's feed was flooded with nothing but the 700. Then, news of a restock. More pairs were on the way. Click subscribe to the Black Social TV. Thanks for watching.